So, I had mentioned I had, was working on a bell siphon for my setup. I'll show you a little bit here. It's starting to get going here. It should go off in a minute. Um, so, I have my original drain pipe. Um, after it drains, I'll pull this off and, and show you. There's the inside drain, surrounded by the outer tube. The outer tube uh, originally had all holes in it for uh, easy drainage down to the bottom tank. But, I made the holes in the bottom bigger and packed it all up with duct tape and sealed it up so that it creates a siphon. Now, you can see the water pulsing a little bit. That is the suction getting going. It should take off very shortly and drain the whole upper tank. Um, so hopefully I'll get that on film. Um, something I'll expand on in a minute is you can see this little nail here um, plugs a little hole. Um, I did that because it allows me to essentially turn the siphon off by just popping that out. Um, now you'll hear in a second when it actually goes that it's kind of noisy when it finishes up. Um, so being as this room is worth most of my time, I'll pop that little nail out and when that happens it'll stop siphoning and it'll stop making noise uh, and if I'm going to be gone for a while pop the nail back in and it'll all kick off. Um, so let's see, it's starting to go a little bit. Oh, there we go. Kicking off. You can see the top here draining down slowly. See the water level coming down a bunch uh, from around here and down. Uh, keeps draining. Goldfish going nuts. And then in a second, we will see mostly here when the water gets down to the holes in the, in the tube. Now here, I'll just pop this off and show you the inside. So we have my inner tube there, which is actually adjustable. You can adjust the height of the water by moving the rubber stopper up and down the tube. Um, this tub is not very deep, so I can't make it that uh, much of a swing in, in depth. But it's a nice little feature, something that I'll incorporate in the future, in future builds if I do anything bigger. So this piece goes right on over the top, and once the water comes up to the top of the inner pipe around here and starts draining, it creates suction, and creates a siphon that drains all the water out down to here where the uppermost holes are. Um, so that's the whole siphon setup at the moment. Uh, if anyone has any tips or advice, um, let me know. Alright, thanks for watching.